Uh, hello people today i'm going to show you there how you can install me right 12 on your samsung galaxy s8 so this is an unofficial build and it has a lot of bugs and errors so you can encounter any of them and install and i have dismissed a lot of bugs and there are a lot of fixes as well but you can encounter one i have not mentioned in it so hats off to the developers contributors who have contributed to this room because it is one of the beautiful room i have ever seen so first of all uh, i'm going to show you that this is s8 you can see g950f and this is me right 12 and after that it is android 10 room so this is an android 10 room so i want to uh, share a review with you i have um, installed this room for a couple of hours so i'll start with uh, sim cards i was able to receive all calls and i was able to perform all calls let me show you enter your hidden card account number so you can see it is working and i was able to receive messages as well and after that here comes wi-fi <clears throat> so wi-fi was not working um, it is a bug that it that does not let you connect it uh, by just coming to the settings and just connecting it so i'm going to uh, tell you all the fixes in the end of this review and after that i'm going to show you how to install it so first of all i'm going to just uh, share a review so bluetooth is all working it's perfectly working there's no problem and after that comes always on display and lock screen so always on display works but there's a problem with the brightness slider it does not work so brightness is not fixed in this so it, it is a bit dim i mean that if i'll just lock it and you can see it is pretty pretty much dim so it is working but i do not suggest to enable it because if you see samsung has always on display which rooms i mean you have uh, any clock design it will roam on the device from from one place to another to another it remains on one place and cause and can cause uh, in-screen display burn so i do not suggest to have always on display on secondly everything is working uh, in lock screen there is a problem uh, i'm going to tell you ahead in display uh, as i told you brightness is not working mm, auto brightness is also not working uh, so brightness cannot be but it is fixed i'm going to tell you how you can fix it uh, color scheme in color scheme uh, you cannot choose saturated it does not work so dark mode is working perfectly after that uh, almost everything is working here other than that I've told you uh, sounds is working there's no problem so in notification yeah notification light is not working so uh, only notification light is not working in charging and anything else uh, other than themes you can apply themes easily there's no problem uh, you can see I have I assume it can be applied. There is no problem and it applies easily. So I'm to apply and in passwords and security fingerprint has a bug. When you are going to enter your fingerprint is going to read it and it's going to add it into security but after that your device display is going to shut down i don't know why but there's a problem that your device display is going to shut off and then you have to reboot your device and there's a lot, another bug also that you can see this and this is an icon so it remains over here it is of no use you should be here if it wants to be uh, as our device doesn't have any kind of in-display fingerprint scanner so it's useless uh, 
there is no use of it and other than th other things are working there is no problem so battery is pretty good and there is no problem uh, your device does not uh, drain any kind of battery uh, when it is on idle so for me there is no problem if we go into additional settings uh, notification light is not working while charging or when any notification comes uh, it is not work and almost uh, all other things are working there is no problem and your google account is working uh, you don't have to apply any patch or you have to install any apk or anything else it's working perfectly you can see it is play store it's pre installed in the room there is no problem so for me, um, the, these were the bugs I have two, and in control center, you can see it's a beautiful control center. It just looks like iOS. So torch is working. There's no problem. And screenshot is working. There's no problem. You can see that airplane mode is working. So I haven't tested where it's working. So reading mode. You can turn on but it does not work now you can see when you expand it and uh, there is a bug that when you press it it's either not going to run or sometimes it comes it just came like you can rewind it and see it and other than that dark mode is working battery server is working make sure is an app yes it, it can work easily there's no problem uh, and NFC here is not working, so an auto brightness over here is also not working. Brightness lighter does not work. So here are my final words. Uh, most of the things in this room are working, like calls, messaging, have camera is working for few percent. Uh, you can connect Wi-Fi through Get Wi-Fi, wi Get Mac Wi-Fi app, and HP Wix is working. There's no problem. Magic is working. Most of the things are working. Yeah, one thing I forgot to say was that when you uh, close an app or you open an app, the transaction is a bit laggy. There are lags in this room. You can experience any kind of lags. So yeah, it's a good room, but uh, it can be fixed easily as it is in developing mode. So in order to flash this room, you have to go into wipe and advanced wipe, telvic at cache, cache system and data. Uh, and you have to swipe in order to flash. So after you are done wiping it, you are going into install and install, I'm going to provide you a zip. So basically this room is GSI room. So it requires projectable. If you want to know what projectable is, you have to google it and uh, we have to make our device compatible to project table in order to flash this room so uh, i'm going to provide you a link from where you can download the following files so i'm going to provide a zip in which you will have project table uh, verb compatible and other fixes uh, you have to go into verb compatible verb compatible you have to click on install image and in install image, you have to select Dream LPE IM, IMG, the, uh, the second one. It is for SA, so you are going to select it and you, are, you have to take for recovery and you have to swipe for confirm for flash. After that, you are going into reboot option and you are going to reboot into recovery. Not install. Now after that you are going to install and in this you have to select project treble and you have to go in there and after that you are going to select convert so you are you are going to select convert and you are going to flash it don't worry i am only having this uh, error because uh, i am flashing it over the room so when you are going to flash it there is not going to be any problem like this Now what you have to do is you have to go into re uh, reboot option, you are going to reboot the recovery. Now you do not install and yeah.
now after that uh, you are going to install the room you are going to install and in that you are going into uh, where you can download it, the room uh, and that you are going to select here it is new asset and enroll and so you are going to flash it it is going to take 7 to 8 minutes uh, image is going to take uh, sorry uh, system image is going to take 5 minutes so don't wait just let it complete and when it is completed you have to uh, go back into twerp and install and here you will have to install magic manager yeah here it is magic manager and you have to install it you have to just install that's it and after that after installing this you have to go and install this lab fix for a and ab you are going to install it and after that after installing all these files you have to go into reboot and you are going into reboot into system or install and yeah this is how you are going to install this room so now in order to fix uh, wi-fi and brightness you have to do the following things so first of all uh, you have to install this uh, application get mac wi-fi and after that you have to uh, make sure you have magic uh, we already installed it in the beginning so you are going to get mac wi-fi and after that uh, you have to go into wi-fi and i don't know why it is not showing again here but when are you are going to see you, you will be able to see all the connections you just have to tap on it and you it is going to ask for uh, password and then you are going to install it and for brightness uh, i'm going to provide you a file uh, Two, uh, two files one is uh, one is going to be hk tweaks and other is going to be brightness.json so you have to go into hk tweaks and in here you you will be here okay so you are going to tap on menu you are going into custom controls and in custom controls you are going into plus sign input and in import you are going to select brightness chart json uh, let me find make sure you grant uh, this application super user rights and after that you are going to select brightness for json and here it is so you can fix brightness from here you can increase this you can decrease this so yeah these are the fix so yeah thanks for watching